I'm using my new, oh, <laughs> I lost it already under all my, my mountain of makeup. My two new Patrick Star um, one size Visionary palette and then I've picked up one shade of the Eye Popper and I've got 04 P House and it is this one. So I thought, um, I've already worn it like three or four times, but I thought it would be fun to do a video. So I'm going to just kind of film a get ready with me, a little chit chat and um, talk more about the palette. <clears throat> Excuse me. But I've already cleansed my face. I've already done my Clarity Tonic Salicylic Acid Probiotic from Pixi. I'm really enjoying that. It's really keeping my face clear. Um, as always, anytime I touch my face, my face is very pink. So <laughs> I'm going to use the uh, Milk Hydro Grip Primer. Like I mentioned in previous videos, first you just need, yeah, that may be too much. But this is great if you're having to wear a mask or if you're just oily. Find that your makeup rubs off on your nose. Um, it's really good. It's, it's Hydra Grip. It has a tack to it, so everything kind of sticks to it. <clears throat> but I do my primer first, and then I go to my eyes. I'm not brave enough to um, do my face makeup and then my eyes. <laughs> All right, so we're going to prime our eyes with the one and only Anastasia eye primer. This is a little travel size. And I'm telling you this sucker, I got it a year ago and I use it every day because that's all you need. And it comes in squeezy tip and it's soft so you can start rolling it down if you need to. But I don't know if I'll ever run out of that little tube, but it was $13. So definitely, I just pick up the little one. I can imagine that the big one may expire before <laughs> I'd ever go through it, so. I'm going to um, be doing a much more neutral eye look because this palette is very um, everyday, very subdued, but it's, <clears throat> I thought it was too pretty to pass up. So this is what it looks like. Again, it's the Patrick Star Visionary, the one size Visionary. And this is what it looks like. And then you see this, so you're like, Heather, what is that? He made it so if you have nails, it's like that on this side too. If you have nails, you can get the palette open without breaking a nail. You don't have to stick it in there to pop it out. Or if you just have trouble opening palettes, um, maybe you don't have a real strong grip or something. So, and this is what it looks like. This is, <clears throat> I mean, it's got shimmer in it, but when you put it on, it's just kind of a matte with a little glitter and it. it's not like shimmery or anything. But I have just been loving the neutrals and then putting this on top. And that's been kind of my easy, quick, go-to, everyday look. So that's what we're going to do. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, my allergies. So I'm going to take, um, we'll start out with Hope of the Game, which is this one right here. And I'm just using a Morphe 433, like five bucks at Ulta, a brush. <laughs> And I just put that all in the crease, kind of building the, starting out with building the crease up here. <laughs> Very pigmented, no fallout yet. I haven't had much fallout with it. Oops, sorry, but I'm trying to look in the mirror. But yeah, so I'm just building that crease. Nothing like groundbreaking, but it's very pigmented. You can see, I think it was $42, but I had, um, if you had 500 points, you could take $10 off. So that's what I did. I just cashed in 500 points for $10. So I paid 32 bucks for it and I think it's worth it if these are your colors. This will be a great everyday just go to palette. I think it's beautiful. And I like Patrick. He's very unproblematic. But that is, wow. It's nice. All right, so then we're just gonna go down here to booked and try to get a little bit of warmth in that crease. Trying to do this fast, but I'm already <laughs> rambling for four minutes, so. <laughs> so yeah, we're just gonna put a little warmth in the crease. You can see already how that kind of just popped that eye open. Same brush, you know, who cares? <laughs> we're all professionals here, obviously. 
Yeah, so that just added a little more warmth to the eye. Just one more little, just a little, boop, and then we will go to the darker shade, which is called Brownie, which is right here. And we're just literally going to take it and we're just going to go, same brush. And you obviously do not have to smoke out your daytime eye look, but I have hooded lids, so I like to kind of just go a little wild. My hooded lids are getting a lot better now that I have been consistent with my derma rolling, my retinol. My hooded lids are not so bad. I mean, they're still there, obviously, but it doesn't completely cover my lid anymore. So, derma rolling is where it's at, guys. I'm telling you, consistency is key. All right. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. All right. Then I'm going to take a little bit of that taupe of the game and just put it all over the lid because I'm going to put some glitter up there. So just the taupe all over the lid. Same brush. <laughs> just flipped it over. All right. So now I have that on the lid. Then we're going to take everything, which is a sparkly. We'll switch the brush for that and I'm going to take my Urban Decay All Nighter. I know, I'm sorry, I'm not looking at the camera. I'm everywhere. This All Nighter Ultra Matte. I'm going to hit this brush because I'm going to lay down that because I'm going to put that other eye topper so I don't want this to be all over the place. I just want to kind of lay it down so I'm going to press it in on the lid. It's very pretty. I hope it's showing up how pretty it is. And it would probably work just as fine if you just use your finger, but I just want a little something there. So when I put that eye topper down, it has something to hold on to. Because I have oily lids. And usually when you have hooded lids, you have a oily, there's oil that develops in that crease and everything just kind of sucks right in there. So, all right. Ta-da! I am going to... Take this, they call them eye poppers, not eye topper, but, and this is what it looks like. You don't get a whole lot. I mean, it's not a huge, this end down here is all you get, and this is all the want. <laughs> but, we're going to try, I'm going to first try just to apply it on the lid, which, um, yeah, we'll try it that way. Let's see how we like that. If. Hmm. <laughs> it's very pretty and sparkly. Now I'm going to put it on the back of my hand and use my finger to apply it and see if we like that application better or if we're going to do it. And it looks the same. <laughs> so. Now we'll come back to that because I want to do the rest of my face makeup and then we'll come back and finish the eyes with liner and mascara and all that and that will really kind of pull the whole look together. I thought it would be fun <clears throat> when I made that order I got a little um, foundation sampler bag so I thought I'm just going to look in here and try something new out today and we can kind of give a first impressions on that as well. So it's the Fenty Pro Filter Soft Matte. Now, I had used this when it first came out and I was quite dry, so I do not remember loving it. Like it had great coverage, but I was very dry. And it did me no favors, so we're gonna try it. 150, and I'm already 11 minutes in, oh my gosh, okay. So, we're just gonna apply it like I would apply my normal because it's some, I mean, I apologize for the noises she's making. But I mean, this is like $12 uh, at the most expensive. It's normally $9.99. So, it's, something's really got to blow me away for me to spend more than $12.99 on a foundation at this point. All right. 
We like how I'm just going all in. Not knowing how. Well, there's not much down in this little thing. Um, that's probably way too much. <sighs> all right. Now we're going to blend. Uh oh, it disappeared. It's disappearing. Hmm. They just disappeared into my brush. Let's keep let's keep going. Let's see. Am I crazy or did it just disappear? Like, where did it We'll put some more on. Maybe I need to rub it in a little. There we go. Maybe we'll try it that way. Cause this is supposed to be matte. Oh, ho, ho. there we go. That's a little better. Okay, not loving that, but I'm not really doing much today, so, but oof, that is not cute. That is not, not cute, I repeat. All right, so we're not gonna put more on. We are going to save the day under the eyes <laughs> with some, that does not look appropriate. Let's change it. All right. We're going to try to save it with some shape tape so we do not have to put more of that foundation on. It's not terrible. It's just sitting like where I have um, um, acne scarring. It's just kind of sitting in it. So. And Tarte shape tape can save the day for anything. So. <laughs> yeah, it's just like pulling there and I mean even the Maybelline doesn't do that so otherwise it's actually quite pretty it does have a natural like a flawless finish I guess if you had better skin <laughs> alright so take that down on the ears on the ears. Take it down for all of my chins. Alright. I don't know if it's coming across, but it is actually quite pretty. So, we'll go ahead and put those over here. I think I'll just keep to the Maybelline, but it is if you have it or you're interested in it, go get your sample. If they're still doing that. Who knows? Um, I'm not going to set it because it's not looking great along here. Um, and I don't want to accentuate that. So we're going to only do the under eyes. We're only going to set our under eyes and we're going to use the Do You Fresh Glow Translucent Setting Powder. What are you doing, ma'am? I don't have kids. I have dogs. And it's like a three ring circus at all times. At all times. We're going to take this powder on this brush and we want to put it because it is all luminous and since that powder I mean that foundation is so very matte oh my god all the Too Faced stuff smells so good I'm sure it's horrible for you but it smells so nice I love it And that was the Do You, I can't remember if I said Radiant Pearl. Okay, okay. Our little book of bronzers from Too Faced. That's 
quite old. So don't ask where I got it because it's very old, but it's powders and I never used it. So we're busting it out. Um, and we were going to use Sun Bunny and Endless Summer bronzers. We're just trying to give us some warmth. Sorry, I have a mirror here and a mirror here. And I'm trying to make sure that you can see me. So sorry I'm looking everywhere else. But the camera. Just want to make sure everything's blended. <laughs> okay, so. Get that airline. All right. So, that was, again, Sun Bunny and Endless Summer Bronzers in my little bronzer wheel. You can tell I'm hitting pan on several. Well, two, but <laughs> love that. And then <clears throat> I have been loving, again, once again, the Natasha Denona Blush and Glow. I don't know. I've got powder all over me. Oh, sorry. The Blush and Glow. Been loving this blush. Taking this. I don't know who this is. Oh, Jeffree Star. Sorry about that. <clears throat> it does. It just gives you like this healthy little pink. You just want to paint your cheeks. Glow. And we are going to use the I Heart Revolution Rose Gold Glow. And I use the rose gold. I don't use that one. So when this is gone, I'll just have this gold one for nothing, I guess, because I don't ever use that. And we're going to take this Wet n Wild brush that is like a highlighter brush. This is a actual paintbrush, and I just use it for my brow bone. And it's the perfect angle that it goes right there, right there. So hopefully, let me feel out my cat ears. I thought I'd wear the other headband in every video, so we would just switch that up today. Now, we are going to take somewhere out there. We've got 40,000 brushes, but not the one that I need. We're going to take this blue, because you know I had to have some blue. We're going to take the blue and line our lower lash. So. Oh, and this is an It Cosmetics Holiday Brush, if you're wondering why it's so sparkly. And we're going to smoke it. Smoke it out. That's it. Okay. Now we need some eyeliner. We're going to use for our waterline the Fenty Fly Liner. And I believe it's 22 minutes in just black. Paper version, liquid liner. I'm gonna take that on the top lash. Clean. Fluffy. Oh, Jeffree Star. <laughs> and uh, we're going to make sure that highlight did not affect our crease here, which it looks fine to me, but we're just gonna double check it. And then we do mascara, but 
So again, Maybelline, if you're new to my channel, Total Temptation Maybelline does not come off. Sweat proof, heat proof. This is like my, I'm about to run out. I already got it back up. This is like my fifth. Alright, so we're liking that. And then my current favorite mascara is the Maybelline Falsies Lash Lift. So we're. But you notice I didn't have to go back into it, and it's uh, still coating my lashes. It's not clumpy, it's not all over my face. That is the look I created with the Patrick Star. What is it called? Visionary palette and the little eye topper again in P House 04. But I hope you enjoyed. What is this hair doing? Who knows? Hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions about anything I use, um, if you have any video requests, be sure to put that down in the comments. Make sure you are subscribed. You have your post notifications turned on because, as you can tell, I've been posting four. You might get lucky and get five this week <laughs> videos and you don't ever want to miss those. So I will thank you for watching and I will talk to you guys next time.